when I explain it that way. But there's a lot of intricacies. There's a lot of things that a person needs to know to be able to buy mortgage notes successfully. Frankly, can you earn more than 8% if you do it on your own? Maybe, maybe. If you can avoid making mistakes, you might be able to. But a lot of investors, they would rather just enjoy their life and get passive income and not be dealing with the intricacies of foreclosure laws in Texas and having to do workouts and loan modifications. But that's what's so powerful about working with Alamo. We get you your time back and we get you that passive income. Now, here's a question that I get asked from time to time by people. Why bonds? You know, people come to me and they say, you know, there's so much inflation right now. Why in the world would anyone buy bonds? You know, and this type of thinking is dangerous thinking. Frankly, it's very dangerous to think that way. Here's, but instead of me giving you my opinion, I'm going to talk about a Nobel Prize winning economist. I'm going to talk to you today about Harry Markowitz. Harry Markowitz won the Nobel Prize for economics for his contributions to what is now called modern portfolio theory. And as experienced investors, You've probably heard so much about modern portfolio theory, how you're going to allocate here and allocate there and all of this. But when Markowitz did his own personal portfolio, he kept it real simple. He put 50% in bonds and he put 50% in stocks. Now, folks, what I'd like you to do is think about your own portfolio. What percentage of your portfolio now is in bonds? That's what you should be asking yourself. What percentage of your portfolio is in bonds? And Markowitz, he would do 50% bonds and 50% stocks. Now, what a lot of people do is they do 100% stocks. And I hate seeing people do that. I just feel bad for them because it's like you're watching a, a new investor and they, they have this idea that, well, a stock can go higher. And they seem to forget that stocks also can go lower. And they seem to think that they're going to be that one guy that knows what the crowd is going to do. So it is worth considering if you should have a larger percentage of your portfolio in bonds. I mean, that's what Nobel Prize winning economist Harry Markowitz did, and he would adjust his portfolio once per year. I don't know how long it's been since you've adjusted your portfolio, but it might be something to consider. I just ask you to think about that. So, and he did that because he knew that there was going to be prices that went up and down. And, and if he was 100% in stocks and then the stock prices went down, well, that's pretty bad news. But if he had 50% in stocks and 50% in bonds, then if the stock prices went down, he could sell some of his bonds and he could buy the stocks at the lower prices. So now let's talk about Texas. Why, why in the world did we pick Texas? I mean, there's like a lot of states in the United States. There's 50 states. Why did we choose Texas? Well, good question, folks. The reason we chose Texas is because Texas is a state that is winning, and we want to invest into states that are winning. If you look at New York or you look at California, those states are losing. And the reason they're losing is people have said, you know what? There's so many laws over here. There's so many things over here. I don't want to live over here where it's so expensive and there's so many laws. I'm moving to Texas where I'm more free. So people from New York, people from California, they are moving into Texas. And when they move into Texas, they take their big New York money, they take their big California money, and they move into Texas. And the first thing they do is they look around at our real estate prices and they laugh and they say, what? This house is only 200,000. This house is only 300. This is 100,000. They can't believe how cheap our real estate is. And they go in and they buy real estate and they buy at full market price and they laugh about it. They think that it's funny, but what it does is it pushes up the value of our real estate. And that is a good thing for Alamo. And that is a good thing for our bondholders. Because as more people buy real estate in Texas, as the demand for real estate grows, the collateral that backs our bonds, it is improving because the higher the value of the collateral, the less risk for Alamo because we are in a strong position. So it's a great advantage. Let's talk specifically about some of the key features of the bond. First, we can help you reach your passive income goals more quickly. Whether you've got a passive income goal of 1,000 pounds a month, 5,000 pounds a month, 10,000 pounds, or 100,000 pounds or more, we can help you reach that goal 
in 30 to 60 days, depending on how much capital you have available to place. Um, let's say that you're maybe in a situation where you know in a few years, maybe in a decade, maybe in five years, you want to be at a certain passive income level. We can get you there. We can work out an annual investment plan to help you reach your passive income goals. And that is something that we, we look forward to doing that. We also offer maximum diversification. Unlike being that new investor that stumbles into note buying and has just decided that they're going to try this and they don't know the difference between a first lien, a second lien, and a launch. They don't know what they're doing. You get maximum diversification here with Alamo where you are getting access to our portfolio. Our portfolio. Another big, big advantage to Alamo, and I'm not giving the other guys out there that are the hedge fund or the private equity guys a hard time. Those guys are my friends, a lot of them. I am not saying they don't deserve their high fees. I am not saying they don't deserve all that stuff. But, but I will tell you this, we do not charge our investors fees. So you'll never hear anything about a two and 20 from us. You'll never hear about all these expensive fees. We do business in a more simple manner where we're gonna pay you 8% and we're gonna earn more than 8%. And we're gonna do that using the, the, the hard assets. I call it the gold standard, the hard assets that we have uh, in place. Um, so no fees. And uh, I will say another thing, uh, all the glitters in the world is not gold, my friends. I have seen a lot of these people that get sucked into these private equity deals where they think it's going to work so well. Listen, the reality of it is one third of private equity, one third, 33.3% lose money. So 33.3%, the other third, they break even. And then the last third actually makes money. So you are stacking the odds against yourself if you're thinking for sure that you're going to be able to pick the right private equity deal. I'm not saying you can't, okay? You're a smart person. You're here. I know you're pretty smart. But I'm just saying that with this, it may not sound as fancy, but it's awfully nice to get your 8% and have your money working for you, not have any hassles compared to go chase double or triple your money. So that's something just to think about because loss can hurt us. Um, here's how it works. You invest 100,000, you're gonna earn 8,000 pounds in a year. You invest 100,000 in five years, you're gonna earn 40,000 pounds and get your 100,000 back. And then if you invest 100,000 pounds and you leave it for the longest term, the 50 years, you're gonna get 400,000 pounds and then you're gonna get 100,000 pounds back. So. That is how it is calculated. We pay out biannually, twice a year, we make payments to you. Uh, who, who should invest in the note? This is a great question. Well, I believe that an investment in the notes is suited to investors that are seeking an above average return on investment. So this is not for average investors. If you want to be average, then you can just buy a gilt. You can earn a 3.6%, 3.7%. You won't have to do anything. And you can sit back and say, I am secure. I have a guilt. I am secure. I don't see the inflation. I don't see the exchange rate. I am secure. I have a government guarantee. But if you're the type of investor that wants a real positive rate of return, our corporate income bonds are going to offer higher rates of interest by hundreds of basis points for many years into the future. 